Okay, good morning. Dallas Drainage Pros here. Just talking about um, physics in water and the way it flows and what you have to have to create good flow. So this situation right here, um, they created a tie-in to the gutter and the idea was to push it out to the alley uh, to reduce the uh, amount of water that's flowing into this backyard because there's some settling water in the yard. Um, but in that main line, whoever installed this, that line to the alley, they installed a, um, a catch basin to supposedly catch water in the yard, um, which in theory could work, but the problem is it's on the same line that's coming directly out of this gutter downspout. And so what actually ended up happening, because there's no, uh, especially because there's no uh, fall, the water actually just exits right here out of the catch basin and flows into the middle of the yard. <laughs> so you end up with a worse problem than if you just not even tied it in at all. So what we're gonna do is um, remove that catch basin and turn it into a straight line that will then push the water out to the alley. Now, one of the problems that they had was that there's just no fall. And so, um, that's usually a problem if you're going, if you're just trying to push water straight, but what can help or allow you to get away with that is the pressure created from that vertical pipe. So that pipe sits, you know, about 18 inches um, high from the point that it turns. And those 18 inches of vertical uh, water creates pressure down the line and will uh, push the water out. Now, should it not be enough pressure, we can always add more vertical pipe. And so we're gonna do a water test afterwards. After we fix this and remove that catch basin, we're gonna do a water test, add water to the line from the gutter downspout and see if it pushes water out to the alley uh, before it overflows. If not, we'll add more vertical pipe to create more pressure on the back end. So anyway, a little lesson in physics, Dallas Drainage Pros. Okay, so we removed the catch basin and patched the pipe together. So now it is one seamless line and we're doing a water test. So we've got the hose going into the downspout. And the real question is, how's the water flowing? Well, it's not backing up over the downspout. Oh, look at that. We've got beautiful flow. Tons of water coming out. So I would call that a success.